What's up, Sparkle Squad? I'm just walking home from school. You know, science class has been really fun lately. My teacher has been teaching us ways in which we can save the environment. Hmm. She even gives an assignment so that we can save the environment from home. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, why are all these sinks running? Anyone in here? We learned in school that one sink uses up one gallon of water per minute. That's a lot of water wasted. Hey, is my water blaster full yet? Jimmy, were you running all these sinks so that you could fill your water blaster? No, no, I was also filling up my water balloons. Perfect. And I was washing my soccer ball. See? Good as new. Thanks, water. And besides, what are you worried about anyway? Haven't you ever looked at a map? Look at how big our oceans are. We got the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Santa Maria. Some of them are even bigger than entire countries. Well, sure, the oceans are huge, but not much of that water is actually drinkable. Only 1%. You know, people need to drink fresh water, not salt water, and that's what most of the water on the Earth is. Huh, I guess I didn't know that. I just knew that every time I turned the sink on, I could have as much water as I wanted, but if there's really only 1%, then I guess I gotta be more careful about how much water I use. How do you know all this science stuff anyway? In science class? The one you sit next to me in? In the science class where we have our Save the Environment homework assignment due tomorrow? Wait a minute, we have homework due tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. Uh-oh, gotta go. Oh, I completely forgot about my science homework. How am I gonna think of an idea that helps save the environment? Ooh, I've got an idea. I could do spin -a for charity. People could pledge money, and for every donator, I would do a famous Jimmy spin -a Yeah, we'll call it Save the earth a with a little spin -a so that the Earth can keep spinning. a -rooney. I'll think of the name later. Yeah, that might work. Actually, now that I think about it, I pretty much did the same thing for my English project last year, and I got a D minus on it. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Hmm, maybe if I did something with my scooter, or my bicycle. Bicycle, recyclables. Yeah, that's it. I'll come up with a new system that will revolutionize recycling. It could even save the earth. Oh boy, I'm gonna get an A plus on this for sure. And even better, I'll be rich. Hey, Jimmy, what you doing? Coach Rocco, just the person I wanted to see. I've been working on my science homework. Ellie and I have been learning about recycling all week in school, and I developed a foolproof new system that's gonna save the environment. Maybe oh. the whole world. I'm so proud of you and Ellie taking the initiative to save the environment. How does it work? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, hey, hey. Guys. Hey, Ellie, you're gonna wanna hear this too because soon it's gonna be everywhere. So I developed a three bag system. And before you ask, you can't just put all kinds of garbage into all kinds of bags. Every bag has a very specific use. For example, the blue bag here, you can only put blue garbage into it. So for example, this uh, blue marker. And in the red bag, you can only put red garbage, like this red party hat. And in the green bag, yep, you guessed it, only green garbage, like this line here. Any questions? Um, Jimmy, I don't think this is how we learned about recycling in class. Yeah, e Ellie's right. What if the garbage isn't one of these colors and it's purple like this balloon? I thought you might ask that. Well, stick around, fellas, because my plan has a solution for that problem, too. If the color isn't one of these main three colors, you just have to do a little mix and matching. Like in the case of purple, blue and red combined make purple. So you just have to put half the balloon in one of the bins and half of the balloon in the other bins, like this. <laughs> See, half in there and half in there. Any more questions, doubters? Wow, it makes perfect sense. Ellie, you ready to recycle? Um, not exactly. You see, you don't have to match the colors of the recycling bins with the color of the garbage. You have to match the recycling bins to the type of garbage it is. So, the blue bin is for 
plastic. The red bin is for cans and glass. And then the green bin is for paper. So you would actually put everything else that doesn't match up with those categories in your regular kitchen garbage bin. Oh, that makes sense. Because come to think about it, I wasn't really sure what to do with this cookie here. Hey, wait a minute. This is a perfectly good cookie. Why would I be throwing it out anyway? Well, did you find that one under your bed, Jimmy? It's only been there since Tuesday. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I got your favorite sour cream and onion. Come here, kitty, kitty. Here you go. Hey, Coach, what are you up to? Oh, I'm feeding the kitten that lives in our yard. The kitten? Look at how cute he is. Look at that white stripe down his back. Isn't he cute? Coach, be careful. That's a wild animal. And not just any wild animal, a skunk. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure this is a kitten. Oh, no, Coach, the best thing you can do for a wild animal is to leave it alone. It's not that we're being mean, it's that it might get sick on human food or we're taking it away from its home. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a kitten if he eats potato chips. Oh, gosh. Coach, just make sure you take a shower after, okay? What? Bye! Bye. Silly, silly Ellie. She doesn't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? Why aren't you eating your potato chips, huh? Huh? Ah! Oh! Oh, stinky, naughty, stinky. Oh, yeah, no, she was right. She was right. Oh, yes, you are a skunk. Yes, you're a stinky skunk. Okay, you can go back out there. Go. Go frolic with all the other skunks. I hope there's no other skunks. Oh. Ellie, you were right. You were right. Get the tomato sauce again. Hey, Coach Rocco, want to come to the mailbox with us? We're going to go see if those energy efficient light bulbs you ordered already got here. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'll meet you there in my car. Hey, Coach Rocco, why don't you go take a scooter or a bike? I mean, it'll be good for your health and it'll also be good for the environment. Yeah, true. And the mailbox is just down the driveway. Uh, I don't know. I've never ridden a scooter before and I, I watch you two scooting around and it looks dangerous. I'll just walk. No, 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 no. You can take my scooter and my helmet. And Jimmy here can teach you how to ride it. It's super easy. And trust me, it's a much better choice than taking the car. All right, Coach Rocco, Jimmy's scooter school is in session. Step number one to riding a scooter. First, you gotta plant one foot on top of the scooter. Then you gotta plant the other one on the ground. And when you're ready, give yourself a little boost and push. <laughs> You got this, Coach Rocco! Oh, oh, oh look! <laughs> You're doing it, Coach! I'm scooting! <laughs> <laughs> Nice job, Coach Rocco. <laughs> See, Coach Rocco, just because you didn't choose your car, you've already taken one step towards a cleaner Earth. Our Terra Science Project is complete. We're getting really, really good at saving the environment. I'll say, yee-haw! How about a race? <laughs> Coach Rocco, don't go so fast. Yeah, and you're going the wrong way. Coach Rocco, watch out for that! Oh, oh yikes. That one hurt. Pass it here. Ellie shoots and scores! Well, well, well. Guess you're not too bad after all. But now it's time for the living room spin a rooney. Oh. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> that didn't sound good. No, I guess it still needs some perfecting. Let me go grab it. Oh, Coach Rocco, I see you found the ball. That was really nice of you. Sorry about the face. How many times have I told you not to play basketball inside? Now, why don't we do an activity today that doesn't involve a ball or a phone? Why don't we read a book a rooney book a rooney That's just not right. You know what? That's a great idea, Coach. What book do you want to read? How about we read one of my favorites? Little Red Riding Hood. Once Upon a Time. 
All right, little Red Riding Hood. I want you to head over to Granny's before sundown. Now, I made all of Granny's extra special treats for her 99th birthday. And I want you to be there on time because she gets a little cranky if she doesn't get her birthday presents. Sure thing, Mama. What's in here anyway? Well, I made my famous broccoli cupcakes, anchovy muffins, and to top it all off, chocolate chip meatballs. <laughs> Sounds great. Are you sure Granny likes this stuff? Oh, she loves it. Oh, and one more thing. A delicious apple pie for dessert. There you go. Well, at least you'll have that. All right, I'm on my way to Granny's, Mama. See you later. All right. Uh, good luck out there, and uh, remember, it can get dangerous in the forest. And don't talk to strangers. La, 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 la. Only a few more minutes until I get to Granny's house. Jimmy! I mean, uh, a Hey, what's up? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Who are you? You mean you don't know who I am? Oh, come on. Big ears, fluffy tail, paws. I'm the big bad wolf. The biggest and baddest wolf in the whole school. I mean, uh, Forest, aren't you scared? No, not really. Doesn't ring a bell. Plus, you're fuzzy and cute. Oh man, I knew that I looked too cute to be taken seriously as a big bad wolf. I'll never get the hang of this. Anyway, what can I do for you, Mr. Wolf? Hmm, how about we play some basketball? Yeah, big bad wolves love basketball. Check this out, Little Red. I call it the wolf a -Rooney. Wait, basketball? There's no basketball in Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, come on. Don't you think that it would be way cooler if the big bad wolf played basketball and he could teach all his little wolf friends how to do the wolf a -Rooney? Stay focused, Jimmy. Everybody knows that wolves don't play basketballs. Their claws would pop those basketballs right open. Now let's get back to the story. Anyway. So, Miss Little Red Riding Hood, what you got in your basket there? Oh, I've just got some goodies for Granny. I've got some anchovy muffins, Ooh. broccoli cupcakes, Yum. oh, and some chocolate chip meatballs. Wow, those sound like the tastiest treats ever, especially for a really hungry big bad wolf like me. What do you say I take a little free sample? Right, not. This is for Granny's 99th birthday, you know. She's gonna eat every last bite. Aw, fiddlesticks. Hmm, now say, this granny of yours, just where might she live? Oh, you know, just over by the grassy path, across the cranny brook, and by the chestnut tree. Oh, interesting, very interesting. Well, since I can't have any of your goodies, I guess I'll just be on my way. But make sure to tell granny that I said, Happy birthday, and that I hope her party is simply delicious. <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that. Boy, oh boy, did that wolf have no manners at all. Well, I guess he was raised by wolves after all. I heard that. This must be Granny's house, and no sign of Little Red anywhere. Granny will have no idea that it's actually a wolf at her door. Not with this awesome disguise. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, Granny, it's me, your granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood. Trick or treat. Wait a second. Halloween? I don't remember that being in the story. Oh, come on. Let's just leave it in. Halloween's my favorite holiday. Please. All right, we'll roll with it. <laughs> uh, trick or treaters? I thought Halloween was months ago. Well, there's no treats here. I'm sorry. <gasps> Silly granny. Don't you recognize your own granddaughter? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, and I've got goodies for you. So let me in and we'll have a feast, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Oh, wait, sorry, huh? Wrong fairy tale. Oh. Tee -hee. Well, it does sound like Little Red. Go ahead, come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Little Red, I'm so glad you're here. It just wouldn't feel like my birthday without those chocolate chips. Gotcha! I'm not Little Red at all. I'm the Big Bad Wolf. Ow! Big Bad Wolf? You're the Big Bad Wolf.
wolf, why are you wearing that orange hat? And why do you have that cute, fluffy tail? Uh, because I'm a very fashionable wolf. I don't know. And also, I'm not cute. I'm big and bad and scary. And now, I'm going to eat you. Eat me? Why would you eat me? I'm not very delicious. <laughs> because I'm a wolf, and you're a grandma, and this is a fairy tale, and wolves eat grandmas? Obviously. Hold on, hold on. Jimmy keeps saying that he's supposed to eat me. That can't be right. Well, that's what it says right here in the book. The wolf is supposed to eat the grandma. I think technically the wolf does eat the grandma in the story, but I think we can change it around this time. Yeah, why can't the wolf just chase the granny away? Huh. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, the big wolf's trying to eat. You can run, but you can't hide, Granny. I'll get you sooner or later. And now to wait for Little Red Riding Hood and her basket of goodies. Ow. La, 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 la. I made it to Granny's. <sighs> Just in time. Hey, Granny, are you in there? I got your goodies. Happy birthday. That's weird. The door's open. Granny? Granny, are you in here? Oh, hey! Little Red Riding Hood, oh, my favorite granddaughter. Thank goodness you've come. Granny's starving. How about some goodies? Uh-uh-uh. You look a little off, Granny. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Oh, uh, well, uh, turning 99 takes quite a toll on a woman, you see. But once I have those goodies, I'll look all better. Oh, but Granny, what big eyes you have. Oh, the better to see you with, my dear. But Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Granny, what a great big orange basketball you have. The better to do spinneroonies with, my dear. Spinneroonies? You're not my Granny. You're Jimmy. I mean, the Big Bad Wolf. That's right. Now time for a snack. No! Jimmy, how long am I supposed to sit in that dark closet? It's getting stuffy in there. Coach Rocco, I mean, Granny, I'm not Jimmy. I am the Big Bad Wolf. You're ruining the story again. You can't expect me to sit in there all night. I'm supposed to be a 99-year-old woman. Guys, stop! Now I'm going to eat this apple pie all by myself if you two don't stop fighting. See you in the living room. Apple pie, wait for me. So long, Granny. Hey, it's my 99th birthday. I should get the first slice, not some silly wolf. And so, Little Red Riding Hood, Granny, and the wolf all ate the apple pie and lived happily ever after. Wow, what a story, Coach. Yeah, that was quite the fairy tale. I sure am glad that those things are just fake and not real, though. Anyway, what do you say we get some apple pie? I'm hungry. Jimmy, what are those? Uh-oh. I think the fairy tale might be coming true. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe they fell for that? This is just my wolf costume from last Halloween. Anyway, about that apple pie. Uh-oh. What's this? I didn't put this on. Where did this come from? Oh! Hey there, Sparkle Squad! We're just scooting back home from school, and everyone was super excited today because tomorrow's the wait, last... Wait, 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 did you tell him yet? Did you tell him? See how excited everyone is? Because tomorrow is the... Wait, wait, hold on, Ellie. Can I tell him, please? Sure, go ahead, Jimmy. All right, everyone. I'm about to say it. Tomorrow's the last day of school! The greatest day of the year! I'll see you at the pool. That's how I'm spending my summer. Ooh, I think I'm gonna head there right now! Wee! But, Jimmy, we still have a couple of assignments before the end of... Oh, that Jimmy. Boys and girls, if you want to see how we spend the last day of school, give me a big thumbs up. Let's do this. So the last assignment our teacher gave us was to go through our old school pack and clear it out. Now there's a lot in here from over the school year. Let's see what we got. Got plenty of books and textbooks from class. My trusty pencil case. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool, our harmonica. Oh, I'm definitely gonna keep this. This reminds me of the time that we all had to think of a song for the school talent show. Uh, no, no, that won't work. 
Hey, Jimmy, you look a little frustrated. What's up? I want to write a song for the school talent show, but I can't think of anything to write about. It's really hard. Yeah, writing is definitely super hard. Well, here's some advice that Coach Rocco once gave me. Write about something you like, or about someone who inspires you. Huh, that's a good idea, Ellie. You mean like a very good friend? Mm-hmm. Someone who's always there to cheer me up? Yeah. Someone really smart and really cool? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a cool person to write a song about. This is gonna be a great song. Thanks, Ellie. I can't wait for you to hear it. No problem. Hey, how's your talent show ideas coming? They're going really well, I think. Oh, Coach Rocco, I think that Jimmy's writing a song about me. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so hard to get him to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be playing the ukulele. It's gonna be a really good time. Voila! My masterpiece is complete. This song is dedicated to someone very special to me. Ellie, give me an E. There's someone that I know from school. His name is Jimmy and he's cool. Well, he's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. And everybody knows he rules at basketball and Roblox too. If you don't like him, you're a fool. Cause he's cool. Everybody know Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. He's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. He likes to wear the color orange. Oh, oh no. Well, nothing rhymes with orange. But, but regardless, he is cool. And Jelly, you're okay too. Aww. Everyone, Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is cool. Ah. Awesome. I think that might be the best song ever written. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Can you believe that Jimmy made a song all about himself? Wait, actually I can believe that. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Um, oh, cool! My paint brushes! Now I've used these guys for a lot of cool paintings over the years, but there is one from this past year that really stuck out. I wonder where our art teacher is. Class started five minutes ago and she's not here yet. Wait a minute, does that mean class is canceled? Can we go home? I'm here, I'm here, don't panic. Your regular art teacher called in sick today, so I'm gonna be taking over. I know I usually teach lunch and gym, but I think I'll be a pretty good substitute art teacher. Awesome, Coach Rocco, I didn't know you were an artist. So Coach Rocco, what are we gonna paint today? Maybe a seascape? Something from the Impressionist era? Will we be using acrylics or watercolors? Uh, an Impressionist what? <laughs> no, uh, I figured we could just get together and paint whatever makes us happy. That's a great idea, Coach Rocco. Paint what makes you happy. All right, and begin! All right, time's up. Now let's see your paintings. Ellie, what you got? All right, so I decided to go with some random shapes and some of my favorite colors that make me happy. Pink, yellow, and blue. And this is what I got. Hmm, that's called an abstract painting, Ellie. You know, the abstract style dates back to the early 1900s. Now me, I went for realism. As you can see, it's a self-portrait in the Da Vinci classic style, but with elements of, well, in terms of the common man, it's just me doing my Jimmy spin a rooney <laughs> What about you, Coach Rafa? Let's see your painting. Oh, no, you don't want to see this. I only show my paintings to my mother, Mama Rocco, because I'm her favorite artist. <laughs> Rocco, we want to see it too. Come on, yeah. Come no, on. no, you don't want to see this. No. Of Please, course we on. do. Class is almost over anyway. Oh, come on. We want to see it. We want to see what Mama Rocco's going to hang up in her house. All right, all right. <laughs> don't laugh. It's a painting of Mama Rocco. Coach, that is amazing. Yeah, wow, Coach. 
I really love the realism style that you painted your mother with, and the way it clashes with the more German expressionism style of the wilted flowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was going for. <laughs> but the most important question, Coach Rocco, is does it make you happy? You know what? It does. It really does make me happy. And I bet it'll make Mama Rocco happy as well. And that makes me the happiest of all. <laughs> I can't wait to show her. <laughs> Mama Rocco still has that painting hanging up. It just goes to show, you just gotta do what you love sometimes, you know? <laughs> now what else do I have in here? Nothing in there. Oh. oh. Of course, my favorite, a PB&J. And that reminds me of the time that we had a school picnic. That was so much fun. Hey there, Coach Rocco. Hi, Ellie. Ooh, you baked a pie. Yep, I baked it specially for this picnic. It's apple. <laughs> it smells delicious and it's beautiful. <laughs> you know, I've been baking a lot lately. I've been baking cakes and But cookies. what's a picnic without a little basketball? Specifically, the Jimmy Spinneroony. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, no. You destroyed another pie. Oh, my pie. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know it was there. What are we gonna do now? Well, don't panic. I brought all the ingredients to bake another pie. There's sugar, and flour, eggs in here, bowl, and- Wait a second. How are we gonna bake a pie out here without an oven? Well, I'm not gonna bring an oven to a picnic, silly. <laughs> Ooh, so what kind of pie should we make? Ooh, how about chocolate cream? No, Those are I, my favorites. I've already decided I'm making a meringue. But we can't make any pies if there's no oven out here. You know, she might have a point, Coach Rocco. I know, let's make a cake instead. Well, I didn't bring any candles, Jimmy. Oh, come on, we can't even make a cake out here too. You know we bake cakes. Listen, I got some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I made for myself. Mm. And I can share them all with you. Sounds pretty good. Mm. Ooh, there's some bugs out here. Ow. Wait a second. Jimmy, when you smash the pie, I think it attracted some ants! 